debris. There must have been another path up. Guess Kalari and the search party climbed the cliff instead. Taru Trailhead. Looks like this is where the Rite of Discovery started. Debris on the trail. Oh, it looks like pieces of the bridge. Fell down here a long time ago. Maybe from a storm. A lot of the trails broken away. Kalai must have climbed her way up too. If Kalai made it to the top, she must have been a good climber. It doesn't add up that she fell. This must be the promontory. Looks like Kalai was doing something at that stone table. I should take a look. Flowers, ground into a dye. Kalai must have done this as part of her ritual. I should look around. My focus will help me figure out what happened to her. I was playing song, just like the first Utaru saw it. The search party was up here, all right. There's too many tracks to pick out Kalai's. Looks like the edge broke off recently. I still don't think she could have fallen into the river from here. I should keep looking around. These flowers have a trace of something on their petals. The dye Kalaya was wearing. Looks like it left a trail. Too faint for the search party to have noticed, but my focus can pick it up. There's the dye trail. Looks like it leads away from the cliff edge. Dye trail ends here, with a lot of broken branches. I should take a closer look. Branches were snapped off recently. From some kind of struggle? And over here, drag marks. Looks like they lead through this thicket. I can follow them with my focus. Two bodies? One must be Kalai, but... Who's the other woman? marks on her neck. She was strangled. At least I can return her seed pouch to Bree. So the killer must have tried to push Kalai off the cliff. That's why the search party found her instrument by the river. But Kalai fought back. So the killer strangled her. And then dragged her here.
fight's over just yet. Oh, Stoker's got a friend. Just what I needed. Better grab the killer's seed pouch. Might help identify her. Maybe Fane and Cal back in Plainsong will know who the seed pouch belongs to. This green shine for later. This might have been the way the first Utaru climbed down the mountain. Looks like most of the path has crumbled away. We all lament Calais's death, but perhaps it's time to move on. No, not until I hear from Aloy. That's Glyce. You found it. Bree. Calais didn't fall. She was murdered. What? I went up to the promontory. I found Kalai and the body of the woman who killed her. That's impossible. The search party already checked up there. There was nothing. The bodies were in a separate clearing. Away from where the search party checked. A stalker had mauled her while she was trying to hide Kalai's body. Who was she? I was hoping you would know. I brought back her seed pouch. Belongs to Lina, Kel's apprentice. I don't understand. Why would she do this? Maybe we should ask Kel. But she... You, there. Where is Kel? I saw her leave out the East Gate about an hour ago. She's going home. Summer wind. She's running away? She needs to stand trial. I can catch her. Where is this place? Look for a ruined settlement at our southern border. It's her childhood home. We will get the guards and try to catch up with you.
something's holding up. Careful, Outlander. These fields are wrought with blight. How are you? That must be summer wind. But where is Kel? There's Kel. What's she holding? So now everyone knows. It was only a matter of time once you went up that cliff. You stood right next to the man whose wife you had murdered and told him to move on. I never wanted any of this to happen. Then why? Calais sowed the seeds of discord. She wanted the Utaru to leave Plainsong, abandon our home. If that thought caught on, it would have been more destructive than any sickness or machine. So you had her killed? There was a natural order to all things. Growth, decay, death. It's the way of the world. The tree cannot pick up its roots, so I stopped what was threatening us. And I'm sorry it came to it, but it's over now. I'm gonna make sure you pay for all the suffering you've caused. Too late. You think you stopped Kali's beliefs from spreading? But when people hear what you did, they'll cast aside the old ways even more. No. And you won't be around to do anything about it. No! She needed to stand trial! Kalai deserves justice! Kel thought that silencing Kalai would silence her beliefs. Prove her wrong. That will give Kalai justice. It isn't much, but... I want you to have this. As thanks. I won't have to spend the rest of my days wondering what happened to Kalai. Blighted are the leaves. Three of our people, dead. And for what? I admit it. I never wanted you among us. But now, it seems I must thank you for revealing the rot that had taken hold here. I'm sorry it had to happen this way. At least with the rot removed, new growth can thrive.
What do you need? A squad of Tanakhas holed up in the cave to the south. I think they're in trouble. At least one of them is injured. I'm headed there to offer help, but with the Tanakh, such an offer might be perceived as an insult, even when help is needed. Will you come with me? I saw you speak before the chorus, so I know you can be persuasive. And if things get out of hand, I will be stronger with your spirit at my side. Isn't there someone in Plainsong who can go with you? Not with Tanakh rebels prowling our borders. No one wants to get involved. I'll do what I can. Good. I'm headed to their camp now. Please, follow. Why are you willing to help these Tanakhs if other Utara won't? I've dealt with the Tanakh before. You really I don't think they'll take an offer of help as an insult? Tanakh are by nature unpredictable. Anything is possible. Almost there. The squad is camped inside. You there! This camp belongs to Eagle Squad. Retreat or die. At ease, Eagle. I'm not here for blood. Just to parlay. You know the parlay sign? Let us in so we can talk. So far, so good. Long way from the desert, aren't we? This one was blinded. Boy, nothing gets by you. Looks like your training mission didn't go according to plan. We're here to help, if you want it. How does an Utaro know we're on a training mission? He knew how to request a parlay, too. He's not Utaro. Or Tenax. He must be a veteran. A veteran? I didn't think there were any left. We don't need help from a washed-out farmer. Could have fooled me, judging by the look of things. Sister, it sounds like they just want to help us. Why not let them? What have we got to lose? You said you're on a training mission? A machine hunt. The final test before a young squad goes on active duty. Everything was going fine. We tracked a claw strider and hit it hard, but it fled into a herd of bristlebacks. One charge right at Corey. He dodged just in time and landed a strike as it passed. I hit an acid canister. The spray was like fire in my eyes. A terrible wound. I should have scouted ahead. Spotted the herd. No. I should have spotted that canister. What does it mean to be a veteran? I was born to Nock, but offered to Utaro in exchange for tribute. Tribute? Back when there was plenty, the Utaru offered yearly gifts of food to the Tanakh to keep peace between them. Over time, this tribute grew into an exchange of people. The Tanakh needed able-bodied youth to fight their clan battles, and the Utaru needed veteran soldiers to train the defenders of Plainsong. I was just such a soldier. Was being the key word. You may yet need my spear, young warrior. What do you need? Supplies. Dried meat, ammunition, weapons, camping equipment. A lot of provisions for a trip back to the desert. Everything we need is at River Watch. A huge cache of war spoils up there, left over from the route. The route? When our forces drove the Karja back to Baron Light, they made sure the Kestrels felt the loss, made it hurt. Marshal Canera shot a score of fleeing Karja from the top of River Watch, and her squad gathered the loot. It's all just sitting up there. Ours for the taking. Deadly machines are known to patrol that place, and the ruin itself is on the brink of collapse. You think machines and rotting ruins are enough to keep out Eagle Squad? No, but your injuries are. 
Let Jax and I grab these supplies for you. This is our mission. I'm not handing it over to some... Fine. Come with us. Fine. The three of you hold position. I'll be back. Be safe, sister. The ruin is this way. Once we get those supplies, everything will be fine. So you say. What's that supposed to mean? Your brother's condition is... That's not your problem, farmer. So you say. Stop saying that! Hey, calm down. We're trying to help, remember? So you say. We'll have to cut across the river. Uh, the camp down the road. Something wrong? I hate getting wet. Tough as a ravager, this one. I heard that. I'll stay here. Make sure we don't lose our place first. This is clear. We're, We're here. here. The entrance should be right under that arch. Give credit where credit is due, young one. Maybe I would have handled it better if I wasn't busy covering you, old man. Aren't I lucky? I guess the farmer hasn't lost all his fighting spirit. Supplies should be up there. Taller than I thought. What's a deadly climb to Eagle Squad? What are you trying to say, old man? Enough. I'm a good climber. I'll grab the supplies. Come. Let's see if any of these machines have parts we can strip. Maybe I'll show you a thing or two. What could a farmer possibly know about salvage? Only decades of experience compared to your very brief existence. Okay. Gotta find a way into the ruins. Like some kind of basement. Gotta find a way up. Okay, the supply cache should be at the top of the tower. 
But how to get up there? Sakura supplies. Better keep looking. These are the supplies? Won't last them very long. I can't leave that kid alone for a second. Jax and Sakura are in trouble. I gotta catch up to them. Take down those machines.
done. I better check on Jackson Sakura. Well fought, Eagle. Though I would have preferred if you hadn't taunted that thing. What did you find? Practically nothing. Sakura, there's maybe a day's worth of food here and some rotting medicinal herbs. There was supposed to be more. Enough for... It was never your intention to go home, was it? What do you mean? A blind Tanakh can't fight. And if you can't fight... The Tanakh will kill Korra from being blind? He'll face a trial against the machine. They say it's more dignified that way. But it's still a death sentence. So you were gonna use the extra supplies to live in the wilds? I thought it would be enough to get us started. Can't they stay in Plainsong? Plainsong has too many mouths to feed. The chorus would never allow it. We should get back. I'll take this young sprout back. Meet us at the cave when you can. How am I supposed to tell them that I failed? Speak the truth. Plain and simple. Aloy, we were just about to head in. So what will you tell them? That we'll have to make do. Survive in the wilds without the supplies. That will be a hard life. Better than letting Cory be killed if we go back. There must be another way. I don't see one. So, we're all stocked up then? The cache was empty. But we'll be all right without them. I can't let you starve out here. Just leave me. No! Jax, you said Plainsong has too many mouths to feed to take them all in, but what about just- I am not leaving my brother behind. He'll be safe in Plainsong. And the rest of you can head home. It's the only real solution you've got. The cores won't like it. But if I vouch for the boy, share my rations with him, I could convince them. I will do so if Korra wishes. No! You're not taking him! Sakura, I think this is the best option. I'm a burden to you out here. This is what I want. Let me go with him. Permission granted. But brother, this is not the end for us. I will visit you in Plainsong, and no Utaru or Tanakh can stop me. They will be foolish to try. I'll stay and help them pack their gear, then take Korra back with me. You've shown strength and wisdom today. A rare combination. You have my thanks and theirs too, I'm sure.
You told me they were the best delving crew in the claim. Y you told me we'd be drowning in artifacts. Well, I found this, didn't I? It's a tray. By the sun, man! Not even the most accomplished crafters of Meridian could pull off such symmetry. I wonder what the old ones served on it. Appetizers? Seafood? It's a tray! Who are you? Rushavid? You wouldn't recognize the sun if it hit you in the face. This is the savior of Meridian, the one who sees the unseen. You've come for them, haven't you? Uh, them? The relics! The lake is full of them. Something big happened here in ancient times. You mind if I take a look? Oh. That's a lot of data. Um, should we be sending for a healer? Whatever this is, it all points to something called a mobile cover system. Oh! You mean a cover for the tray? No. More like something that could come handy in a fight. Where did you find this? Uh, the dig site, uh, which is now crawling with machines. And unless they magically disappear, we are leaving! Don't you want to find out what actually happened here? Maybe we still can. What drew you to this place in particular? Every good expedition starts with a rumor. When the Tanakh chased our forces out of the West, returning soldiers described this lake, rife with signs of the ancients. I knew as soon as I heard the tales that its waters promised a bounty of artifacts. A promise that hasn't been kept, at least so far. Those who are patient will be rewarded with sunlight when clouds pass. There's plenty of ruins in the east. Why come all the way out here to look for artifacts? Ah! Well, while my colleagues scour the same old ruins, I intend to blaze a new trail. Loquacious Gendas, the first scholar to discover the secrets of the West. Why, I'll be as famous as the great scribe Aram. You don't seem to share his optimism. I sell artifacts to nobles. Ideally, trinkets that are a little more glamorous than seafood trays. You can be so boorish. Somebody's got to pay for expeditions like these, and so far we haven't found anything that'll cover my costs. So you got attacked by machines at your dig site? It was horrifying. When we arrived, the site seemed as calm as a gentle breeze. I saw a glint in the water and waded in. It was the tray. I was so enamored with it, I didn't even see the machines closing in. I barely escaped with my life. I was there. You actually had a pretty good head start on them. Easy for you to say, gawking from a safe distance. In any event, I had hoped the Asaram would deal with them. They're supposed to be the best delving crew in the claim. Instead, all they do is moan about hazard pay. <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance, unless we can find some booty to cover my investment. Where's this dig site? Seems like the best place to start if I'm gonna follow up on this mobile cover system. Maybe I can figure out what actually happened here. The site is just behind us, up the lake to the west. I knew it was no coincidence our paths crossed, Savior. 
Imagine what stories you'll bring us once you search the lake with your second sight. Hopefully just the truth. The sun has truly shined upon us this day. I should go to that dig site Gendis mentioned. Clear out those machines and look for any clues on this mobile cover system. These must be the machines that Gendas and Rashavid were talking about. drop into the water. Better check them just to be sure. This can help me find something down here. There's something in the water. An active console. There's something jammed in it. It's a Horus, Hanon. 
Just poke through the perimeter. Erica, the mobile cover prototype is in the vault. All three keys are required to override the lockdown. Can you bring me the one from your security console right away? Okay. Just don't get killed before I get... Erica? Erica! Sounds like I need three of these keys to get to the mobile cover system. There's coordinates for another console one file. I should check it out. These are the coordinates I got from the console I found. Which means there should be another one somewhere around here. Another console. Cut. It's raining hell over here, Sergeant! <sighs> Those shit, Corporal. The egghead over at Voltox needs our security key to get the mobile cover prototype out of here. Get to the console and get it out of here! We have a second enemy contact incoming! Another Horus! Some call it the goddamn airstrike! Another access key that never got to this prototype. There's coordinates for a third one nearby. Maybe I can find it. Thank you. 
here. There's got to be another one of those consoles around. Outside, Doc. Don, thank God. The mobile cover prototype is locked in the vault. I need all three keys to open it, including yours. Nope. VP rank means I've got a golden ticket to Elysium. If you want that key, come back and get it your... Uh-oh. Well, Don was a real charmer. It's typical for Pharaoh, I guess. That's three access keys. And... another set of coordinates. Maybe where they were intended to go in the first place. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 